Hello, this is Michael with Strong. You know, I get a lot of questions from people that come into the system with us on how to use Gmail to not only get their their company Gmail, but to get their other email addresses. You know, they may have a company website with company emails, most people do, and rather than going to Outlook or some other web-based uh, email server, or just to keep from having to check emails in different places, they prefer to get their mail just through Gmail and it allows you to do that and it's one of my favorite things about Gmail I think you can put five or six accounts in Gmail where you can actually send and receive all the email accounts that you want I guess well limited up to about five right through your Gmail account so I want to show you how to set that up it's really easy to do now this is a brand new Gmail account I just set up really just for the purpose of explaining how this works so um, you'll notice up here there's an icon that looks like a gear and if you mouse over it it says settings what we want to do is push that down arrow and go down to settings and when we do there's a set of links across the top row and I've kinda of got this uh, page squeezed in a little bit so you actually see two rows yours may look a little different where you see everything across one row it still works the same but what I want to do is go to this uh, link right here accounts and import click that now there's two things that we want to do we want to send mail from other email addresses but we also want to receive email so there's two steps here so the first one uh, to do first thing to do is go down to send mail as and you'll see a link add another email address you own click it and simply just add it in there So I'm going to add this one in there, and when you when you click it, um, you're ask, it's asking me to send through Gmail, which is easier to set up. And so I usually do that. And then before you end, it's going to ask you to send a verification. Now before you can actually send any email through Gmail, you have to verify it. So you want to go in to that account from however you do it now, what um, your Pop3 account and get that email from um, from Gmail so you can do that. Now, I'm going to do that now. Uh, I have Outlook opened on another computer so I'm going to go check that email and see if I can find that. Here it is. Um, so I'm just going to type that in 91555775. Hope I put that in right. We'll see in just a second. Okay, that verified that and now you can see under the send mail as it has mprice at strongdry.com now I can make this my default if I want in fact I think I'll do that right now alright there's step one step two is even easier because we want to check mail from other accounts well actually I've already set that up let me delete that so we can go in and do it again check mail from other accounts add a pop three put the email address you want to check from which in this case was the same one. Next step. Now a couple of things that you need to do here. Your username, uh, if we set your email up for, for you, is always going to be the same as your email address. Now I went ahead and entered that in there for me, which is good, but then you have to put your password. I hope I have that right. Now a couple of things. I would suggest that you click this box, leave a copy of retrieved message on the server, that way if you are using another email system somewhere you're not deleting that as it pulls these mails in, emails in the other thing I like is label incoming messages with this label Gmail uses a little different system which once you get used to it I think you'll really like it I know I do instead of using files and folders they use labels so I could click on that label and pull up all of my emails from that address or I can label um, you know, from any any way I want so there's a lot that can happen with that but I would suggest you check on that then click add account now this is going to my login system to save that's RoboForm you may or may not want that but I love it um, so now here we are we can uh, just looking at what's happened here we can send mail as mprice at strongdry.com and we can also um, receive we can check other mail accounts 
and I can it's right here so they're both there that's really all there is to it so now we can receive from either of those accounts there you go that's how you set it up now when somebody sends an email to that to mprice at strongdry.com it will land right in this account now the one thing I should tell you about Gmail it's the one little quirk about it is that there's no way to make it automatically go and check for brand new emails on the on the time frame that you might want it to like in other words if you wanted it to go check every five minutes or every 15 minutes like you could do an outlook you can't do that with gmail they have an algorithm that takes the some type of an average time between emails that you normally get and sets it to go check it on that basis it could be an hour literally maybe more before it goes and checks the email so if that's the case you think it's been too long then you can just go back to settings just like you did before go to your accounts and import and down here where it says check mail you can click check mail now and it can you can make it check it you know anytime you want now what I've done um, I kind of worked, did a little work around you can see this pop three with the countdown I put a script into Gmail that acts that makes it go and check it every eight minutes for me so if you want to know about that let me know if we uh, we may want to make a separate video on that but to to kind of recap just go to your accounts and import from the gear icon and do the two things send mail as put your new email in get your verification code enter it and go down and do basically the same thing on check mail and you'll be set now you can add I think and it's saying um, add another account we can do um, I think maybe five possibly six different accounts through this but that's it for now if you have any questions let me know